What up, people? It's your boy, Master Trudy, out here with another comic review. So it's New Comic Book Day. And, of course, we've got number six of Batman and the Outsiders. You know, I've been really digging this uh, series, of course. Brian Hill, my favorite artistic duo of Dexter Swim, Veronica Gandini doing what they do, of course. And, um, you know, the story keeps moving. There's a lot of action. We're getting a lot of new things thrown at us. And uh, this seems to be the end of the first arc. So let's uh, get to it from Ashes of the Feet. So we begin... Private Airfield in Candom, uh, Black Lightning and Katana managed to get Sophie with uh, Caliber and they got her packed away. And, you know, Black Lightning pretty much tells um, Bruce, like, look, I don't want to know what you're going to do with her because she needs rest and she doesn't need to be thrust into the field with a bat symbol. And uh, Bruce is like, she will rest. And you and I can take, it's like, it's like and you and I can talk steps before I go. One question, she's pretty, pretty much asking about Cassandra and Duke who have been confronted by Ishmael, a servant of Ra's al Ghul, who, by the way, I've, is becoming one of my favorite uh, villains. I don't want to say henchman because he seems even bigger than that. Probably one of my new favorite right hands. So anyway, this is the finale. This issue takes place before Batman 77. And he's pretty much saying that, look, you can't fight me. The water to the Lazarus pit pretty much fills my veins. It's futile. And then, like, bring it. And Ish- I'm really loving this smile because it, it, it's it's like it's becoming iconic. But anyway, they get ready to rumble. He's like saying, "You have you hate me, and you have no reason to." And you know, Orphan and Duke lay the beat down on him a bit, saying that, "Yeah, we do." And he's like, "You two have a bond." It's like I feel it. Friends who care for one another. The demon respects that. That's why he told me to hurt you both at the same time. Cassandra Kane, daughter of Shiva. So he gives. Cassandra, a bit of a uh, shoulder bash right here, gets Duke, tells him he's a son of the light. I have gifts for you. The demon would like you to learn the truth. Catch your breath and follow me, because I take all the time you need. So they kind of um, kind of brush themselves off, head to the <laughs> head to their little uh, package right here, put on some jetpacks, and chase after Ishmael. Uh, meanwhile, back at uh, Wade Manor, we see Alfred receives... Um, Receives a package to Bruce Wayne, to Alfred Pennyworth, CEO of Bruce, um, of Bruce Wayne. Of course, he opens it, and they're little action figures, like a chess piece. And we have the, all of the outsiders right here. And this seems to be Rachel Ghouls and his people. And um, Alfred just says, they never send flowers. Master Bruce will have to cut his Parisian visit short. So clearly this is a note from the, um, from the demon head of Rachel Ghoul himself. Moving on, they managed to track down Ishmael, and, um, you know, um, they make a great... I really like, once again, the pairing of Cassandra and uh, Duke. Great pairing. I've been... This has been kind of a uh, little um, eye-opening of Orphan's Mask. It's been a little bit of a... Uh, I don't know whether this is... Um, whether her mask has actually been ripped or this is just, you know, oh, just to make sure that, yeah, we can see her face like they usually do with Spider-Man sometimes when half the mask is covering his face, but it's all good. Seems to be permanent, though. So pretty much they come in, they try to be careful, and they see that um, they're shocked to see uh, basically uh, Karma is stuck down here. And Lady Shiva, which is Cassandra's mother, is also here. And, you know, she acknowledges that Bruce Wayne has kept uh, karma all to himself in pretty much this weird warehouse basement thing. And he's saying, I assume he didn't tell you. Bruce has a sorry time telling people the truth, but Rachel Gould will never lie to you. And uh, Cassandra, looking much like her mother's daughter, pretty much says that, you know what, I don't believe you. And it's like, Ishmael told me that you still have that fire. Show me how it burns. So, you know, uh, Lady Shiva gets ready to rumble. And Duke is, like, telling her to hold some restraint. So we got this nice nine, what is it, five, six, seven, eight, twelve um, squared panel, which is very sequential. So, you know, they fight. And, you know, Duke is just there, but Ishmael is, like, right behind him. You know, obviously, Lady Shiva is getting the upper hand. Ishmael, of course, is obviously a better fighter than Duke. And so Lady Shiva takes down her daughter, 
And meanwhile, uh, my boy Ishmael is about to zap uh, Duke with some knowledge right here. And, you know, there he is with that smile, man. I'm really digging it. So it's like, he's like, scream, all birth is painful, as you know the truth. So meanwhile, Lady Shiva is very much disappointed with her daughter because she seems to be soft. She's like, you are not ready when you are, find me. So meanwhile, Lady Shiva and uh, Ra's al Ghul are having a discussion, saying that the mission has been complete. And, you know, she's just saying, look, failure does not know me. It's like, we will destroy Batman with his own children, and then we will make them our children. Cassandra is mine to mold. That was our bargain, of course, Shiva. I know what a kind of wound a daughter can make on a parent, referring to Talia. And so Rachel's like, what about Duke? And it's like, he is afraid of his light. He is afraid his light has failed him, so I will teach him the way of darkness. Meanwhile, um, Cassandra wakes up. Duke is gone. Karma is gone. Ishmael is gone. Lady Shiva is gone. And we see that a little piece of Shiva, which was much like uh, the pieces of the chessboard that Raish said Bruce, um, is on the floor. And we see that uh, Cassandra is given into her rage, which is something that um, apparently she's improved upon since the first time I saw her when I was like a little kid and I saw her in a no man's land. But here we go. This was a um, great issue. I think this is the iconic photo of the... Uh, the iconic artwork of the uh, of the whole issue. This is great. Um, once again, things are moving along. I think this is the end of the first arc. Congratulations, Brian. Um, what to take from this? Of course, Batman has not been in a lot of it. He hasn't even been. He's only been suited up once. Of course, he's been busy. When you think about what's been based over, uh, this is pretty much in between the current Tom King run. Nonetheless, um, after this um, issue, we've seen a lot of development for Black Lightning, for uh, Katana, for Duke, for uh, for um, uh, Cassandra Kane, And, you know, the villains are becoming more villainous, of course. Um, Ishmael has been a great addition. Uh, Lady Shiva's now in the mix, which is pretty good. And then we got Ra's al Ghul. So, you know, um, Brian Hill's doing a great job with the writing. It's making these characters feel like characters. Of course, the artwork is just, you know, is what it is because it's the crew of Soy and Gandini doing what they do, always doing what they got to do to put out a great product. So I give this a good 9 out of 10. Congratulations on the first arc, which is technically a first volume. So, yeah, congrats to that. Um, so thank you all for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to the notifications. Make sure you're notified. Once again, I do these reviews for you, the people, because I'm just good comments to get your views on them. Thank you all for watching, and I hope to have more videos up later today. Peace.